join us for a chance to win in tonight's Halloween Trivia. Which horror film released in 2019 involves a smartphone app that predicts exactly when a person is going to die? Is it A. Rings B. Countdown C. Unfriended or D. Friend Request Think you know the right answer? Leave it down below in the comments now for a chance to win a $100 gift card. <laughs> this is the scariest investigation that I have ever done in my life. This is one of those questioning what the f we're doing type of places. I needed a little bit of time after this investigation. What just f***ing happened? What did you just ask me? I can't keep seeing shit like this. I can't keep experiencing shit like this. Let's leave, dude. Yeah, let's get the f*** on, man. I just say f the spirit box. I'm not going in there for Dude, that. Dude, I'm not going back in there. And the back door to the house is just sitting like this. Oh, shit. Like, it's a heavy feeling here. More than any of the other spots. Yeah, you know. My mind isn't even ready to form words yet. I'm hyperventilating still. Without even a second thought or look or guess or asking each other's opinion, we were fucking gone. We received an email from an older couple that claims their house has some sort of evil presence residing on their property. They didn't want to be on camera or have our initial interviews recorded, but some of the details of this location were very grim. Apparently, the last couple that lived in the home had marital problems and there was an affair of some sort. After the husband found out, no one could get in touch with the wife for several weeks. And eventually, her body was found in the lake behind the house. Since the current owners moved in, they've been experiencing all sorts of strange events within the home. Objects moving on their own, doors slamming in the middle of the night, and oddly, an increase in pest activity any time that they encounter some paranormal activity. They told us about one incident where spiders were coming out of the AC vents while doors were opening and closing on their own. They believe that the two are linked. This was the first time that we had heard anything like this. As strange as it sounded, Colton and I knew that we had to go and check this place out. Every single location that we do has its own, its own thing, its own scary aspect of what's there on top of the scary. And from my immediate recollection, this has got to be, of its type, the scariest investigation that I have been a part of. Like, this is one of those questioning what the fuck we're doing type of places. This place doesn't have a name either. This is fucking weird. Yeah. No way this gate works. You hear that? Oh album? my god. Dude, I love owls at night. What the fuck is that? What? 
This is the noisiest quiet I've ever heard in my life. Hey, throw your high beams on. There you go. What are we actually getting into here? It was the loudest ambience that I've ever heard in my life. The crickets, the birds, the, the frogs, and um, just pulling up to the house, you could feel that something was off. They said that the lake behind the house is where the shit Unless went down. Hey, what's the lake? Turn right. Some more. Is that the, uh, is that their stable? Like their little barn oh, stable? The... You know what? Yeah, pull up to that. Let's just check that out. There's the lake back oh, there. Yeah, God. yeah. There's the lake. Let's just, let's, you know what? Leave the headlights on. Let me just, let me see what's up with this. Okay. I walked through there just to take a look to see what it looked like. I didn't really feel too much the first time that I walked in there. Hello, hello. Anybody home? Then we entered the house. Let me just show what's out of here. It's so fucking loud. horse pictures in here. It's cool. I said we just do like a full sweep. And then um, let's do a full sweep with the ovulus too. The first thing that we did, which is what we always do, we did a scan with the EMF detector. Typically we like to walk the whole area, the whole property and see if there's any kind of blips, see if we're getting any kind of reading that might indicate where we should be doing our major testing at. Dude, this place is giving me fucking anxiety. Hold on. You got it too, right? Like it's a heavy feeling here more than any of the other spots we've been yeah, in. Yeah, no. I mean, honestly, I'm just, I don't know if it's like, poof. You know what this is giving me about? Huh? Remember uh, Aunt Tina's house? Remember that episode that That's I did in season why. one? And then we went back? And that was like a fucked house. There was like yeah. evil shit happening there, you know? Oh, bro. Come on, dude. What? We noticed that the back door of the property 
was wide open. And when I say wide open, I mean the slider leading to the back door that leads to the lake was just wide open. The fucking sliders are both wide open and the back door of the house is just sitting like this. Dude, I'm not stoked because like, what could have slithered and crawled in here though? Well, first of all, bugs, yeah, but I'm just saying like, why is this open, bro? Nobody had been there for days. We don't know why it was like this, but it was definitely unsettling. It's almost like someone just fucking either came in or went out of the back of the house and left everything wide open. What's back here? I don't know. Coming from the lake, that door right there was wide open. Side note, off camera, mm -hmm. this shit makes me really fucking uneasy out here, dude. Oh yeah? Yeah. No shit. I don't know what it is. You feel it too, right? Uh-huh. You feel it? Oh like, yeah. Like weird? Oh, big time, dude. We could be getting looked at, we could be getting fucking watched, we could be getting followed. There could be all types of shit the, fucking The door waiting was for us. someone coming or going. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Uh -huh. Like, what is that? Did someone come in here before we got here? Or did someone leave when we got here? I don't know. I don't either. All right, uh, I'm gonna try to grab this. Okay. All right, we're here to communicate with you. And I'm not sure who is present here, but whatever entity is here, can you please communicate with us through this device in my hand? We can use your energy and we can turn that into words if you would like to speak to us right now. Is there anything you'd like to tell us? Were you coming or were you leaving if you're the one that left that door open right there? Enter? Inner. I remember saying to Colton, I wonder if it was something coming in or going out. And as soon as I said that, the ovulus triggers a word and says, inner. Were you coming or were you leaving if you're the one that left that door open right there? Inner. Enter? Inner. They were in and now they're out, or they were outside and now they're inner? I, I'm unsure, really. So they came from inside. Does that mean they came from inside, or are they they're inner now? Are you inner now? Did you come inside? I don't understand what that means. Yeah, I don't know. Weird. Is there something you would like to tell us or the owners of this house? Wherever your presence is, you can talk to us. Scan. Scan? What does that mean? Maybe scan the house? Maybe. Yeah. What is it actually asking us to scan right now? Oh, shit. What just fucking happened? Something broke and the chair just moved. That chair just moved right there. The second we walk out of the room, I hear what sounds like a glass break. And then all of a sudden it sounds like dragging furniture across the tile floor. What is it actually asking us to scan right now? Oh shit. What just fucking happened? A chair got pushed over, papers flew out. Colton was right behind me with his camera. We both captured it. I know that Colton got part of it, but I know I got all of it on my cell phone. They're actually asking us to scan right now. Oh shit. And people say, oh, well, you know, maybe it was a cut, maybe it was an edit. Listen, there is no way we could pull something like that off when there's just two of us in the house. 
I can assure you we were the only ones on this location. What is it actually asking us to scan right now? Oh, shit. What just fucking happened? Something broke and the chair just moved. Oh my I have no idea, dude. Supply, wind, plane. It's going nuts right now, too. How am I feeling like it's not even done, dude? Area. Area. My fucking hand is shaking, bro. What broke? Is it in here? Something broke. Look at all this glass. No, I think it was in the kitchen. Yep. As we approached the kitchen, I noticed that there was glass all over the floor. Um, it looked like maybe a wine glass or something. What? Yep. We got glass in here. There's glass everywhere in here. That was it. Nice. Yes. Roach. Is that a big ass roach? Yeah. There's something evil in here, bro. That's disgusting. These people said that any time they've experienced any kind of strange paranormal activity within the home, there's like an increase in like pest activity as well. They said that one time the sink was full of maggots when there was noises and whispers happening within the house. They've said they have frogs, they have black racer snakes, they have spiders, cockroaches, maggots, all of these things they've experienced before. I've never heard of anything like this before, but I found it very, very strange that the moment we picked up something running through or running past the kitchen, there's just six or seven roaches crawling all over the countertop. I can't make this shit up. I don't know how to explain it, but it felt evil. It felt weird. I don't like this at all. I told you I didn't like the way this place felt the minute we got here, bro. I think both felt like that. There's papers all over the floor over here. Yeah, I saw something move over here after the chair slid. It was almost like something came through here, you know what I'm saying? Like the chair moved and then shit over here went flying. I'm positive I got that on the camera. You want to do yes, no right here? I mean, yeah. You want to breathe for a sec? Yeah, I'll take a sec, dude. And then, yeah, we'll grab something like What's with the up. fucking roaches, man? Like, one just ran behind this fucking garbage can. Like, it's all, like, here. Like, something bad is, like, here. Yeah, well, now you're kicking me out, man. 
We decided to go get the yes no prism. We knew that we needed to set up tests right here, right here in the kitchen where all this stuff just happened. We went out to the truck, um, we stopped rolling just for a second, and when we were outside by the truck, we heard this loud slam coming from the barn or the stable area, whatever that building was off to the side. But we didn't have time to go there just yet because we just captured all this activity in the house. When we set up the yes no prism in the kitchen, I was hooked into the hypersensitive EVP tests. I was listening to see if I could hear anything abnormal with the microphone on like super, super high volume. This is kind of a new test that we've been doing, but a lot of times when we record EVPs, you know, we have to play it back to see if, if the EVP was captured on the audio device. We've just started doing this recently to where all the sound is enhanced and I can hear everything extra loud through the headphones. Can you use this device? to let us know if you're here right now. Was that a fit of anger earlier? I just heard a boom noise. It sounded like it was from outside, but it was like a boom, like bass heavy. I didn't hear anything. You didn't? No. Just sort of boom noise. I just sort of boom noise. It sounded like it was from outside, but it was like a boom, like bass heavy. I didn't hear anything. You didn't? No. Do you plan on communicating with us through one of these devices or just making noises? Oh, no what? What did you just ask it? I just said, do you plan on communicating through one of our devices? Or do you just plan on moving things? What is happening right now? There's been times when we have our devices do some really weird shit, but the yes no prism just saying no, 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 over and over again. That was the first time either one of us have experienced that and it's literally on the corner, right where all the activity was going on. Whatever it is, it's staying right there, next to it. The cockroach just came back. Yeah. Bro, there's something. And this whole, look, there's another one. Look, 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 see that? See? Get close up on that. I want the camera to actually see these roaches all over the fucking kitchen right here. Let's get out of here. All right, yeah. Do you want to do yeah, no. like a test in the barn? Yeah, sure. This is just mesmerizing and it's... No, but this is weird. Like, this isn't like just regular activity. Like, this isn't like some peaceful shit. Like, there's something in here right now that's not good. So hey guys, if you're enjoying today's video, now would be the perfect time for you to hit that like button down below, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you don't miss the next upload when we drop it, and let's get this video to 50,000 likes so we can move on to the next episode. Much love. Shit is sketchy, bro. Everything out here, man.
Like that right there. Like why does it have to come right up to the edge of the woods? What? The end of this. Down there. Oh yeah, I know. It sounded like one of these gates slammed earlier, didn't it? Or something, yeah. Is there anything in here? Is there any animals in here that we're like not? I mean, it would make sense if there was an animal out here. Maybe, like something kicking the stall. Maybe. I know you heard that. I'm hearing uh -huh. everything, bro. See, now it makes sense to me why these people are so fucking freaked out being here, you know? Yeah. I get it. I don't want to be here anymore right now. Let's set up the spirit box like right in the middle here. Look, we got, I mean, we got chairs. I guess one of us could sit, right? Yeah. There was some phrases coming through, a couple words. Honestly, it was hard for me to focus on because it was horrifyingly scary in there already. And then we were both startled by a loud slam. Is this the one that was found in the lake? My first reaction was to mute the spirit box. So I muted the spirit box and we were just listening for a moment, trying to see if we could hear maybe another one or like any kind of follow up noises. I can't explain to you what emotionally and mentally went on there. It was like everything that I had a choice of to think about shut off and an instinct just kicked in. Oh, shit. Everything around us was rumbling. It felt like the whole barn or stall was gonna get lifted off of the fucking ground. Oh, shit. I'm telling you right now, I'm over it, dude. I knew that when I left the stalls, I was just more concerned with my safety at the time. Um, but we left a device in there. I left the spirit box. I'm about to just say fuck the spirit box. I'm not going in there for Dude, that. Dude, I'm not going back in there. I got to the point where I said, fuck it, let's just leave the spirit box. God. I feel like I've been in this position so many times to where I've felt this kind of fear at different locations. And it was almost like there was a part of me that was challenging me. I, my mind isn't even ready to form words yet. I'm hyperventilating still. And Casey takes off down the fucking tunnel.
Let's leave, dude. Yeah, let's get the fuck on, man. Yeah. The second Casey makes it back with the spirit box, there's one second of silence and then crash. Let's go. Tell me you heard what that. What the fuck was Tell that? Heard, dude. It's not like somebody did a cannonball. This sounded like someone cannonballed into the fucking lake. That's the only way that I could explain it. It was loud, there was bass to it. Let's go. Tell me you heard what that. What the fuck was Tell that? Me you heard Dude. That. It's not like somebody did a cannonball. There's no way. Dude, fuck that. And the one place that we hadn't really investigated yet was the lake. The next step that we could go to get something to speak to us was the Ouija board. And we remembered that the woman's body was found in the lake. A lot of times the location of death is one of the places that we try our hardest to communicate with the entities because they're familiar with the area where their body was found. And um, we decided we would run one last test on the dock by the lake. One, two, three. Whatever is here, are you evil? We set up a Ouija board on the dock and we begin asking questions. Do you want to harm us? Are you the one that's causing all these problems here at this lake? We were hearing little splashes here and there. Um, those definitely could have been fish, possibly. Are you vengeful? Did someone in this family do something to you? You've already done so much tonight. Can you please move this plant yet? and give us a message. You can use our energy through this board to spell something out if you would like to give us a message. You can use yes, no. Towards the end of the Ouija board session, we both heard a splash that sounded somewhat close to us. And what we saw next will affect every night of sleep that I have for the rest of my life. Is there more than one of you here? Can you give us an initial? Can you give us your name? Can you give us anything? Fuck this. When we looked out to the lake to see what was making this noise. Fuck this. I could see what clearly looked like to me. I mean, crystal clear. The top of like a woman's head peeking at us out of the water. I could see eyes. I could see hair. I can see wet hair. You have no idea what it's like to experience that type of thing. And so without even a second thought or look or guess or asking each other's opinion, we were fucking gone. We ran. I don't care what the critics say. I don't care what people at home saying. It was fucking scary. It's by far the scariest thing that I've ever seen with my own eyes.
I needed a little bit of time after this investigation. We actually had to cancel two other locations after we did this one because I didn't want to do it anymore. I didn't. When we got in the car, both of us were dead silence with each other. And the first word to break the silence was from Casey. And he was talking immediately just frantically about how he can't do this anymore. And he wanted to like legit stop investigating these paranormal locations. And I told Colton, I said, listen, man, I've been doing this for a long time and I'm, I'm, I'm tired. Like I'm honestly at my limit, I'm tired. Like I can't keep seeing shit like this. I can't keep experiencing shit like this. The passion has turned to just danger. Like what's, what do we do with energy and with entities and things that we experience that no one has a deterrent or answer for. And then just, sure, let's go to the next location tomorrow and see if we see anything. This was enough for a lifetime. Everything that we do is this pseudoscience speculative kind of genre that maybe a few people out there say, yeah, I know for sure, but no one does. And so I understand where the guy's coming from. I've just never heard him talk like that. Like I'm hanging it up right now in the second fuck everything that i've done for the past five ten years that's it for me this felt like the closest i've ever come to that like this felt evil with the roaches with the glass breaking with the thing running through the kitchen the the stables rumbling seeing a woman coming out of the lake i wouldn't do a follow-up investigation though. even if it was highly commented on please go back i'm not going back to that location ever again